So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to unbox and set up the HP DeskJet 3755. However, this setup video also applies to any HP DeskJet 3700 series printer. So let's go ahead, get it out of the box and start setting it up. And if you're looking to buy one of these printers, I'll leave a link right below the video. So feel free to check that out. So I've opened the box up. Let's see what's inside. You have the power cable, the black and tricolor cartridges, the manuals and all the other pieces of paperwork. And then let's remove this cardboard shelf on the inside. Now the easiest way to get these printers out of their boxes is to lay the box on one of its larger rectangular sides and then pull the printer out onto the table. And now you want to get rid of the foam end caps and the thin plastic film covering the printer. So the first step in the process is to plug the power cable into the back of the printer and then plug the other end into a wall outlet. Press the power button which is on the top left hand side of the printer and the printer then powers on and goes through its initial booting sequence. And once it's done with that initial booting sequence you'll notice that the power button is blinking and that's fine. And the next step is is to install the cartridges. Open this compartment on the front and you'll notice that the cartridge tray slides into view. Now I've removed both cartridges from their outer packaging. You also want to remove this piece of protective tape on the print head by pulling on this paper with the HP logo. Do that for both cartridges. And then let's start with the tricolor cartridge. Insert it into the cartridge tray with the electrical contacts facing inwards and push it in to lock it into place. And let's do the same with the black cartridge. Again, with the electrical contacts and the print head facing inwards, insert it into the tray and push it all the way in until it locks into place. Now you can close this compartment and once you've done this you'll notice that the power button is not blinking anymore. Next let's load some paper in the printer. To do that pull the paper tray upwards and then slant it backwards and then I'm going to insert some letter sized paper into the paper tray. Pull this flap forward and then slide the adjustable paper guide all the way to the left then insert your paper into the paper tray and slide your paper guide slightly inwards to match the size of your paper. So to begin setting it up on a Windows computer, click on your start button and then in the search bar on the bottom, search for the word store and you'll notice in your search results, it shows the Microsoft Store app. Click on that and once that opens up, you want to search for HP Smart, hit enter. And the first thing in the search results should be the HP Smart app. Click on that. And then you want to click install to begin installing the app. And this will probably take a few minutes. And once it's done installing the app, click launch to open it up. And on the first page, it asks you to agree to the terms and conditions. Click continue. And then it wants to know if you'd like to help make HP Smart better. This is entirely up to you. This doesn't impact your experience in any way. It's purely optional. I'm going to click no for now. It then takes you to another page which asks you whether you'd like to set up a new printer or sign in. I'm just going to click skip for now and do that from the app's home page. Now something to remember is that in order to use this printer you need to be connected to your 2.4 gigahertz network on your router. Usually if you're connected to a dual band router like I am you'll have the option of connecting to either network, the 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz network. To connect to the 2.4 gigahertz network, click on the Wi-Fi icon on the bottom right hand corner of the screen and then find your 2.4 gigahertz network, which should be named very similar to your 5 gigahertz network. Click on that, click connect. And if you haven't already entered your password, it'll probably ask you for your password. Enter your password and wait till it connects. Now this is kind of stupid to be honest because in this day and age printers should be able to connect to both networks but I guess HP just chose to give it a 2.4 gigahertz radio so you can only connect to that one network. Let's jump back into the HP Smart app and as soon as the app's home page comes up you'll have an option to add a printer. You'll notice a large button in the center of the screen. Click add printer. 
and then it searches for all the nearby HP printers. And you'll notice that the HP DeskJet 3700 series appears on the list. Click set up right beneath the title of the printer. And then it says time to connect, set up and manage your HP printer. Click continue. Then it asks you whether you'd like to access the Wi-Fi password for your current Wi-Fi network. Now I prefer not to do this because this can be glitchy at times. So click no thanks and then enter your Wi-Fi password manually, then click connect. And after it goes through that initial setup process, it lets you know that the printer is now connected to your Wi-Fi network. Click continue. And then on the next screen, click continue again. And on the screen that follows, it asks you to register your product by signing into or creating an HP account. Now I already have an HP account, but you can always create one if you'd like to. So click sign in. And once you've signed into your HP account, it says that it is transferring information. And on the screen that follows, it lets you know about HP Instant Ink, which is their ink subscription service. Click continue. And on the next screen, it again tries its best to get you to sign up for an HP Instant Ink plan. This is entirely up to you. In my case, I'm just gonna click no Instant Ink and and then click continue and it asks you whether you're sure and yes, I'm very sure. So I'm gonna click, no, I don't want instant ink. And then it asks you a few survey questions. It asks you where the printer will be used. And then you have to select the option that's relevant to you. And then it also wants your zip code or postal code, enter that. And on the following screen, it lets you know that you can also install this printer to other devices. And it can actually send you a link to download the app or software. So click skip sending link. And then if you'd like, you can always print a test page or you can skip this process altogether. However, if you've gotten this far, I really recommend clicking the print test page option to actually see if your printer works. So click on that. And once you're done with that, it brings you back to the home page where you can actually see that your printer is now visible, the HP DeskJet 3700 series. And this pretty much completes the installation of the printer on a Windows device. So your printer is now set up and ready to to use. And if you're looking to buy one of these, I'll leave a link right below the video. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for more reviews, unboxings, and how-to videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.